Alright, hello everybody, Sonic here with another tutorial video. So, uh, last tutorial video I showed you guys how to play TF2 with four controllers. So that's the PS4, the PS3, the Xbox One, and the Xbox 360. Today, I'm going to show you guys, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how I record my gameplay and how to record it on 1080p with F with F with 60 FPS. So I've been suggested to one of my uh, one of my subscribers suggested me to um, do this sort of thing. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it. So basically, um, there's going to be a two-parter. So the first part would obviously be me showing the my recording settings and the software I use. And then the second part will be showing how I render my videos. So just two little different things to show off how to um, do t how to record 1080p with 60 x with 60 FPS quality. So like the full HD setting. Um, just to start this off, I'm gonna just gonna show you guys how to start off by um, getting your stuff together. So the first thing I'd probably say is to look for a good computer guys, a really, really good computer. Now I find this a step to use is because with recording games you just need to make sure your computer has the capa capability of playing these games and that's how you record your full good FPS 60 if you don't have the compatible stuff with the game then it will record it won't really it will still play probably well without recording but it will make your recording a lot more harder due to lag so that means you'll have to um, lower your quality settings and uh, you'll probably have to go more lower than 1080p but if you do have a really good computer so for an example what I've got is an Intel i7 um, I also have a graphics card of a GTX 960 Nvidia so that's pretty much a, pretty much a full standard um, really good computer that can play really high quality games and not to mention to make really high quality videos so that's the first step now the second step is the software. Now, for the software, I've gone and picked Dextory. Why Dextory? Well, I've been suggested with Dextory a couple of times. I've used Fraps once. Piece of shit. I don't like it. I mean, I may have used it with my old computer, but I still didn't like it no matter what. Um, and then when I looked at Dextory, it actually allowed me to play most of the games with my shit computer. So I'm just like, okay, this is good enough. Now, as you can see, I've also got OBS here, which I haven't used it yet, but I will use it in future due to live streams and maybe recording as well if I figure out more of the advanced type of stuff for it. But you can record and live stream with this one, and it's really good too. So I should probably do a tutorial video on that sometime in the future. But for now, we're just going with the standard. So, Dextory. So once you have guys have Dextory, I've got it full free. You guys can get it if you want to as well. There's so many different videos that show you how to get it. I'll to see if I can look for one, but I don't think I'll be able to find it though. So you'll find many videos that will actually have the download link though. So yeah, alright. So let's get into the settings now. So basically guys, you'll just copy to what I have pretty much. And that should be fine. Sorry about that. I don't know why that was on. Alright, so here we go. So now I'm going to show you guys the settings to what I use to record 1080p videos. So first of all, you don't need to worry about this. I have no idea what it's for. Um, so with this, pretty simple, pretty standard. Um, you can just pick your own color. So for non-recordings, I just pick yellow. And for recording, I just pick red. Because normally red's always been the recording sort of stage. Um, you don't have to worry about any of these. Just leave it how it is. Just mainly work on these two, because these three should already be ticked. OK, so with this one, um, pretty straightforward this is where you put your clips so as you can see I made a folder called clips so this is where I put my um, clips into this one and then um, I'll explain ready to upload in a minute that's gonna be in the second part so with this though what I'll do is is just make a folder um, I'll just say what should I say I'll just make it ready to upload I'll just do that one Okay, so now with this one, see how my thing's got 100 megabytes per second. Now, that's what you actually want your write speed to be. So basically, how to do this is pretty simple. You press on this benchmark, and then what you get here is um, this whole benchmark option. 
So it's already on the 100 right now, but what you're going to do is you're just going to run it. Now it says you got 112 megabytes per second, so that's awesome. So what you want to do is, is you want to change that to 100. So get rid of that. Leave. Oh, actually, just press OK, and then um, change it to 100. It just keeps it. It just keeps it fair and pretty easy to put your videos in. So that's that. So I won't have to worry about that. I can get rid of that. So that's how you pretty much do it. All right. Um, you really don't have to. Oh well. well you basically want to pick your um, movie capture key, which obviously I picked the button that's next to the enter. It's just a bit more easy. It's a, it's a key that's never been used pretty much. Um, and I just leave the rest blank. I don't need. I can probably take screenshots if I want to, but I don't really do that unless it's very important. So won't have to worry about that. All right. So now here is where we get into making the 1080p. This is how we start. All right. So. The first thing you want to do is, guys, is to have this codec. This is Lagerith Loss Lossless Codec. So basically, it'll be on this one. That's the first one, the Dextory Video Codec. And with Lagerith, I'll put that in the description below, guys. But basically, what this does is, it it just um, it's like oh, it's really hard to explain, but it like lessens your video. So like your megabytes, your just how big your your video is, like your size your capacity and all that. So with Dextory Video Codec, that for like a 15 minute video, I believe, it goes up to maybe a, just over a gig, probably 10 gig. Now with Lagris, you can actually lose that. You can actually decrease that um, size and then it will actually be more fitting. It might get to megabytes if it's 15 minutes. It might even hit a gigabyte, but it doesn't really matter because this actually saves you storage space. So I suggest go with this one, which I'll always place in the description below for you guys to have a look. All right, so for the next one we're looking at is frame rate. So obviously change that to 60 if you're going for really good gameplay here. So, but if you're mainly like a 720 sort of person, I'd pick maybe 30 to 29.97, and that's how you pretty much get all the good gameplay from that. Uh, make sure your output is file output. Your file format is AVI. It will come out as a big video, I know, but that's where your rendering settings will come in. So we won't really speak about that yet. Um, synchronized video FPS, I'd probably tick that. If you want to include your mouse cursor, you can. That's just an option if you want to. And now what I would do is, because it would be on percent. So if it's on percent, change it to size. With size, you just change the width to nine to the full 1080p. So 920 to 1080p. And that, guys, is your video settings. Really easy start really straightforward so you can copy it from there right so now your audio settings so pretty straightforward again your audio settings should be just fine now if all of a sudden it just changes because you ticked use default settings I don't know why that's always ticked I always tick it off but it always gets ticked back on um, but anyway your mic goes out first your speaker comes out second now with your mic, make sure it's on PCM and PCM 48000 HZ 16 bit stereo. Same thing with your speakers, PCM, and then same thing as before with the mic. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You can change a couple things if you want to, but I'd mainly go with this to be honest. All right, so now that's just screenshots. You won't have to really worry about that if you're really interested. Um nothing wrong with this so I'd probably leave that and yeah same thing and yep same thing so that's pretty much how I record my 1080p settings so I'll probably do a video real quickly on how on how this worked and yeah so I'll pick a random game and I'll be right back guys okay so for this test video guys I'm just gonna show you guys Bioshock Infinite because it's not technically um, a high, like a full high quality game. Like one of the high quality games I've got is um, the Evil Within, which I'll probably have to test out at one day. But I'm testing a Bioshock Infinite, so you probably can't see by the top because the FPS symbol's always gone. But it's actually standing on F60 on the video side, on the video side, and the file as just going down to 50 just 55 to 60 which is really good so um, we're just going to jump into gameplay which you'll do definitely see some Bioshock Infinite in the future 
Um, I'm really eager to play that for you guys. And not to mention the reason why I'm playing it now is because I'm trying to get a mode that I want to unlock and probably do that. So, alright, so here it is guys. So, the gameplay from here is unlocking the Victoria. I can really play games like this really well. And you can just tell by the video that it just plays in like What's this, a monocle? What am I gonna do? Oh, I'll just try and shoot an enemy. Come out where I can see you. I'm not ready. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much um, my recording. So now we're going to head back to my Camtasia because I think that's pretty much it all, all I need to show you. So be right back guys. Okay and so that ends with um, our first part to showing our software settings. So that's pretty much all you need guys to make your recording really well. So now we'll make the second part is how to render it now into 1080p FPS 60. So Thank you guys for watching, um, really hope this helps, if you do have any questions just let me know, but like I said, if you can't record in this setting guys, it's because you either don't have a computer that's compatible to record 1080p like really high quality games with the 1080p setting, or it'll just be something else, but to be honest guys, that's all I can pretty much show you, so I hope this really helps. Um, for the people out there and um, I'll bring out the second part sooner or later so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed like if you enjoyed and hope this helps and subscribe for more tutorial videos in the future so thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time